Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Welcome to our Oblate Morning Prayer. We gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel reading today is from the account of St. John, chapter 16, verses 23 to 28. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, anything you ask for from the Father, he will grant in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I have been telling you all this in metaphors. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in metaphors, but tell you about the Father in plain words. When that day comes, you will ask in my name, and I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you, because the Father himself loves you for loving me and believing that I came from God. I came from the Father, and I have come into the world, and now I leave the world to go to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Since Jesus comes from above and is revealing realities from above, he needs to use figure of speech, or as the gospel would say, metaphors. That means images and parables in order to convey to his disciples and his hearers the meaning that he intends. But words will always be inadequate, even coming from the lips of the very word who became flesh, who is Jesus, for nothing earthly is perfect. But at the coming of his hour, it will no longer be words, but the very flesh that he assumed will become the place of demonstration of who the Father truly is. As the bruised and wounded body of Jesus is lifted high on the cross, the sign will tell plainly that indeed God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. And no one can contest with words what is so plainly told in action. So we pray for this grace that the Lord Jesus, in his mortal body stretched out on the wooden cross, immortal love is displayed for all to see, may draw everyone to himself according to his promise. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at his ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, my dear sisters and brothers, for joining me today in our morning prayer. Starting tomorrow, May 21, the Oblate World 
celebrates the feast of St. Eugene de Masinod, our Oblate founder. And so every May 21 until May 29, the feast of Blessed Joseph Gerard has been dedicated for the Oblates to pray the Domena prayer for Oblate vocations. We would like to invite you all, members of our Oblate de Macedonian family, and the friends of the Oblates, to join us in praying for vocations to the missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate, especially to our Anglo-Irish province. Thank you once again. May God bless each and every one of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.